Mars is a fascinating world, dotted with colossal canyons, some of the largest mountains in the solar system, and freezing dusty deserts. With more probes around Mars than ever before, and so much focus on the red planet now, I thought it would be a good time to check out 20 incredible images from Mars, so sit back and enjoy. At 20 is a view of Martian sand dunes taken from orbit by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, a probe that you'll hear about many times in this list. Much like on Earth, sand dunes are present on Mars as well. At the bottom of the dunes, you can see small boulders which litter the ground. Along with Mars and Earth, Saturn's moon Titan also has sand dunes. At 19 is a Martian sunset captured by the Spirit Rover. This image is very close to a true colour image, meaning that a blue sunset on Mars does occur here. Another difference between Earth and a Martian sunset is the size of the sun. The sun is noticeably smaller in the image. At 18 is Raphael Navarro Mountain, named after the late prominent scientist who helped design one of the instruments on the Curiosity rover called the Sample Analysis at Mars, which determines the chemical makeup of Martian soil samples. The scale of this mountain is deceptive. While to some, it may look like a small bump, it is actually 120 meters tall. At 17, again captured by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, is an avalanche on Mars. The avalanche was made up of ice and Martian rocks, and as it impacted the base, it created a large cloud of dust. This avalanche was lucky to be spotted, as Mars is not as geologically active as Earth, and the most likely explanation that we have come up with so far for it is seasonal changes in temperature. At 16 is yet another image by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, capturing a view of the Perseverance rover landing on Mars. In this image, you can see the parachute and the rover underneath as it descends through the atmosphere. At 15 is a panoramic view of Victoria Crater. At 800 meters across, it was snapped by the Opportunity rover at just under 1,000 sols, which is what a Martian day is called. At almost 1,300 sols into the trip, Opportunity entered the crater through an area called Duck Bay and then exited on sol 1,634 towards new destinations. At 14 is a golf ball sized meteorite called Egg Rock. This meteorite was photographed by the Curiosity rover and then examined by Curiosity's laser spectrometer. It determined that the chemical makeup of the meteorite to be primarily nickel and phosphorus found in the cores of asteroids in space. Even in the Martian environment, this meteorite certainly stands out. At 13 is a fascinating formation, once again captured by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. What you are looking at here is a pit in the polar regions of Mars. This pit is surrounded by a very distinctive circular formation of ice. Why the pit collapsed, however, is still a mystery. At 12 is a gigantic image taken over five days, made up of 405 images stitched together by the Spirit Rover. This image was taken from the summit of Husband Hill. From here, you can see the travel tracks and the surrounding hills, which were named after the fallen astronauts of the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster. At 11 is a view of one of the largest mountains in the solar system from orbit, Olympus Mons. Olympus Mons is 21.9 kilometers tall, and in this image, you can see the incredible scale of the mountain, showing it almost has as much surface area as all of France. Continuing on the theme of massive Martian structures, at 10 is just a small snippet of Corprates Chasma, a gigantic canyon on Mars, some 966 kilometers in length. In this image, evidence of erosion is present, which is interesting, as this region was theorized to have been a lake long ago, with water levels on average of 842 meters deep. At 9 is an image taken by the Perseverance rover, showing a rocky formation at a distance. The image was taken at Sol 105 and resembles an image that might be straight out of a mesa from Earth, if not for the, well, lack of breathable atmosphere and radioactive surface. At 8 is another image by our trusty orbiting probe, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. This image was also taken in Corprates Chasma. The brighter lit areas show minerals which may have been exposed by underground water long ago. Incredibly, it is possible that the area is still geologically active, with shifting dunes nearby. Coming in at 7 is a series of fascinating patterns on the Martian dunes. What could have caused these? The answer is Martian dust devils. As the dust devil streaks across the Martian dunes, it leads behind the trails seen in this photo. Whoever said Mars has no artistic talent in it? At 6 comes another image from the Curiosity rover. This image shows what appears to be a mountain range. However, the origin of the range is something far more alien. These peaks are the northern rim of Gale Crater, which the rover is inside of even from this distance. A lot of the flat ground shown in this image was travelled on by the Curiosity rover. 
At 5 is a false colour image of polar sand dunes. While the blue in this image is not the true colour of the region, there was indeed huge amounts of water in this area eons ago. The evidence for this comes from the presence of gypsum in the area, which is present in areas where water once flowed. At 4 is another giant image that the Perseverance rover took while it was stationary and its drone friend, Ingenuity, was flying around. The entire image is situated in Jezero Crater, which is the crater that Perseverance is currently inside of. At 3 comes the last image from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter for this video. What might be mistaken for us polar regions is easily given away by the presence of red dirt and an impact crater. The striking contrast between the polar ice and the Martian dirt is very distinct in this image. The crater in this image is 200 meters across. At 2 is an image of the Santa Maria crater taken by the Opportunity rover. This crater, at just 100 meters, is one of the smaller named craters on Mars. The small elevation peak in the background is the Endurance Crater, which the Opportunity Rover would eventually travel to 8 months after this picture was taken. Finally, at 1, is clouds on Mars. However, these are not the familiar clouds of Earth. These clouds are made of dry ice, which is frozen carbon dioxide. As a result, they are much colder than regular clouds. These clouds were captured just before sunset on Mars by the Curiosity Rover. There is no doubt that as we send more missions to Mars, we're going to see even more incredible sights as we explore poles, summits, canyons, and ancient riverbeds. Until next time, thanks for watching.